All right, get low. If you can't download the massive patch in the description, follow these steps and you should get the same sound. Okay, so three oscillators. First one is a sawtooth, number two. Wavetable intensity all the way up and amp a little bit below the A. Filter one. Oscillator two is pulse saw. Uh, saw position width amp all the way up. And filter one. Pitch it down negative point two. Oscillator three. Rough math one. Bend minus slash plus. Wavetable all the way up, intensity at the S, amp at the A. Pitch it up 12.03. Okay, filter, bring it all the way up right here. We're going to use a comb filter. Put the pitch knob a little bit below the P right here. Damping a little bit below the D right over here and feedback about 8.30 o'clock. Bring this all the way up. Okay, go to voicing tab. Make sure it's one and one. Monophonic. Oscillator tab. Play with the time knob. Have it at about 10 o'clock. Envelope 4 is a volume envelope. Um, you're going to bring the attack almost all the way down, not quite. Level between the E and the L. Decay and level, normal. All that normal. Didn't play with that at all. And throw a dimension expander on there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which FX slot you put it in. Um, dry wet, about three o'clock, three thirty. Size right about there. Um, EQ, high shelf. Go ahead and boost that a little past the F. Frequency right there, 75%. Boost, same. Low shelf, bring it down to about the L. That's it for massive. Um, depending on whatever you use, if it's Logic Pro, Ableton, FL Studio, Pro Tools, whatever you're on, load up whatever kind of reverb you have. Um, in Logic, I use Space Designer. In Ableton, you'll have Averb or something like that. Just load up a reverb and play with it until you get the right noise that you want. And that should do it. Send any requests for sound design my way, and I will do my best to get a tutorial for you. Thank you.